In a world and political society of alternative facts no new headlines should shock you. Which is why this latest story will be right on par for what the administration has had to deal with this last year. Allegedly, a porn star was given $130,000 to remain quiet about a 2006 encounter with the president that turned sexual. The people associated with this woman in question alleges she was paid to run around and have the president chase her in his tightly whiteies so that she could have sex with him. When the left can't take the president down politically they will stoop to any level to try and defame his name. Now they are attacking Melania Trump and her marriage. This is no exception. The alleged porn star was 38-year-old Stephanie Clifford who reportedly got paid in 2016, a month before the election. It's argued that she was paid by the president's attorney Michael Cohen. In exchange for the money she agreed to not speak about her incident publicly. The Daily Mail reported, the alleged incident occurred at a hotel in Lake Tahoe during the July 2006 American Century Celebrity Golf Championship at the Edgewood Tahoe in State Line, Nevada. It was described this week in a Wall Street Journal report which disclosed the sum allegedly paid. In response to that report, the president's lawyer vehemently denied that any such sexual encounter ever occurred. On Friday however, a friend of Clifford's came forward to say she had been told about it by her in 2006. Clifford's friend Alana Evans, who is also a porn star, told the Daily Beast that how Clifford confided in her about it at the time and that she was even invited into the hotel room for a threesome, an invitation she declined. All I'm going to say is, I ended up with Donald in his hotel room. Picture him chasing me around his hotel room in his tidy whiteies, she is alleged to have said. In 2006, Trump had been married to the first lady for a year. Evans and Clifford were close friends at the time and were also neighbors. The women were staying at a hotel near Lake Tahoe, which was documented in photos from that time. Trump was there for the American Century Championship at Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course in Nevada. One such photo is of Clifford and Trump posing together at the tournament. Stormy said she met Donald Trump and then tells me about the golf tournament and how she's supposed to hang out with him later that night, and she invited me. Evans said. That evening, Evans claims Clifford called her several times to come over and join them. She also claims during one of those calls, Trump himself tried to coax her over. Stormy calls me four or five times, by the last two phone calls she's with Donald and I can hear him, and he's talking through the phone to me saying. Oh come on Alina, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun," Evans said. Evans said Trump continued to try to entice her adding, come to the party. We're waiting for you. Trump's third wife Melania had given birth to their son, Barron, just months before. I was like, OMG. It's Donald Trump," Evans said. Men like him scare me, because they have so much power and this was way before his presidential nomination. So I bailed on them and turned my phone off. Dot the following morning, Evans apologized for not meeting up with Daniels, at which point Clifford told her about Trump chasing her in his tidy whiteies. I was like, oh I really didn't need to hear that. Evans said. Then she said he offered her keys to his condos in Florida, and I was like, wow, guess you had a good night. And that was the last we ever spoke of it. Friday night, Cohen, for the second time in a day, denied that Trump had an affair with Clifford. These rumors have circulated time and again since 2011. Cohen said in a statement to CNN. President Trump once again vehemently denies any such occurrences as Ms. Daniels. A White House official said in a statement, these are old, recycled reports, which were published and strongly denied prior to the election. There have been dozens of women who have come out and accused the president of sexual harassment. But in this case the woman in question isn't even alleging anything. It is people alleging that this might have happened, but not the woman herself. Which makes it also speculative and highly questionable. Not to mention that just a few days ago Stephanie Clifford herself released a hand-typed note stating that the incident didn't occur.
going so far as to say that if it were true people would not find out about it in the news but in a book she would write. This is not just an attack to the president but on the first lady Melania Trump as well. The incident would have occurred while she was pregnant, adding insult to injury. And people are trying to make these allegations true and taint public opinion, and in doing so are trying to diminish the marriage of the first lady and the president. Marriages and children should be off limits, but it is clear that nobody in the media has any decency anymore. Because they are attacking the president, his family, and now his wife Melania Trump. Share if you agree. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love.